Hi, Theater Mania. This is Rebecca Falkenberry, and we're talking about Groundhog Day on Broadway. What do you know? It's Groundhog Day. I was thinking about these arrested development type guys, like who are act like they're 18, even though they're 60. A cold, kind of sarcastic, mean dude. He thinks he's very charming. And I thought, well, maybe one lifetime isn't enough for these guys. Wonder what if they had more lifetime? Let's see what would happen. You get to watch Phil take a kind of an emotional trip through his life. His view of life evolves in the maybe hundreds of days, maybe thousands of days, who knows, that he's stuck in that town. I thought I'd seen it all was sure by now I knew this place. I got the idea of making it into a musical pretty soon after the movie came out, and then Tim Minchin arrived in my life. On the ear, ginger, keep calling on a ginger, ginger. Yeah, on the ear, ginger, keep calling on a ginger, ginger. Tim Minchin, an artist, and a genius, and I'm not saying that lightly. So if you've heard Matilda, I think he's so clever with this kind of dark humor and then being really poignant at the same time. What I think is different about Groundhog Day is he's written in so many different genres of music. So we've got bluegrass, we've got folk, we've got that kind of musical, broad musical theater. <laughs> We have so much heart and soul in this show, and I think it's more than just about Phil. It's about the town, and it's about Rita, and we get to kind of see the, all of these people go through a beautiful, heartfelt journey. We were committed to doing it right, and it took a long time, but it was always with goodwill and a sense of building on what we'd already done and moving forward, and it came out great. It just came out great. That's